Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, listen to this. This is the most incredible thing you've ever seen. I'm standing here at the food bank of Waterloo Region. Check it out. And behind those doors have been assembled some of the most incredible local media stars in our community. And the challenge is this. They are going to sort the most amount of food in the least amount of time. Who will win? Will it be the TV media? Huh? How about the radio media? The people that are too ugly for TV. We even have print media back here. That means people that are too ugly even to be on the radio. They're all going to challenge each other to see who will get top prize. And we're going to learn a lot about the great work that goes on here every single day. How about that? Sounds nice. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I got Wendy here. Wendy, the big shot, the executive director, the grand pooba of the food bank for the Waterloo region. Wendy, tell me about this great place you got here. This is the central warehouse for the Food Assistance Network in Waterloo Region. We are currently working with more than 80 community food programs of this building, but we also partner with the Cambridge Self-Help Food Bank, who is also running some amazing programs in Cambridge and North Dumfries. Throughout this region, there are 100 community food programs that are providing food hampers, community meals, shelter and residential programs, snack and breakfast programs, you name it. We're, we're supporting it, and we are feeding more than 35,000 people every single year in our community who cannot make ends meet and put food on the table for their families. Now, people in the community, they got a big heart. I know everywhere I go in the Giovanni Mean Nation, people say, I see they got a big heart. The problem is sometimes they get to, out of their routine, and in the summertime is not a great time for you. I can see some empty shelves over yeah, here. It summertime is not, do you like Thanksgiving's good? Christmas is good? But like my father says, people got to eat every day. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So tell me what's going on. How come there's some so empty shelves here? I, I, this is not good. This is actually pretty good. Come back in August. Ooh. August is not good. So it's people very, it's really easy to think about us at Thanksgiving and Christmas and Easter. Right. Those holidays, it's that time of giving. But we're serving people all year round. Those agency orders are just as large in July and August and sometimes even more so. So think about it. We do a lot of work with breakfast programs. Kids aren't in school in it's summer. They're at home. Think about it. Do the math. Yeah. The more kids' food. The breakfast program is not at school. They, they need more food. Yeah. So, it's, so what's the easiest way to donate? Let's see, go grocery shop, you see something on sale. Yeah. Bada bang. That's pretty good. Huh? That tuna, that's not bad. Yeah. You get an extra couple of cans of tuna. Absolutely. You just drop it in the bin right I there. love sales. Peanut butter was on sale last week. I grabbed extra peanut butter. Yeah, drop it in the bin right in the grocery store. But this campaign that we've been working on for the last few weeks is about every plate full and it's about make a financial donation super easy you're sitting watching TV at night you got your iPad log into our website make a financial donation and we can make sure that we've got everything that we need this summer to help those programs make ends meet because I I've, I've spent money late at night with my credit card and worse things than this let me tell you right now this is this is gonna make you feel good and it's and good no one's gonna get arrested that's all I'm gonna say okay this is fantastic how many families do you think you feed in a year in a year yeah, how many families, families how many clients that's a good 35,000 people in Waterloo region are accessing some kind of emergency food service program and sometimes they're only accessing it once sometimes twice uh, sometimes once a month they're going to a meal program it's there's such a wide range of people who are accessing our services how many times have you heard this I never thought I'd be here Oh, so many times. Uh, so you many know. times. And you know what? A lot of times it's from donors. It's somebody who's come back and made a donation. They've come in with a bag of food. They've come in with a financial donation. And they'll tell us, we remember when. We were so lucky to live in this community where we had all this support and all these community programs. And now it's our turn to give back because we remember what it felt like to be supported by this community. It's a beautiful community. And we're so grateful for the support we got. Karma is a beautiful thing. It is. I know. I dated her for three years. <laughs> Wendy, we get a lot of donations here, and this is, like I said, it's a state-of-the-art warehouse facility. I'm very, very impressed, and this is my favorite part. You ready for this? Let's see what's behind door number two. It's a beautiful freezer refrigerator. We've got, look at donated milk from local dairies. This is fantastic. 
Tell me about this. So this is such an important part about what we do, and a lot of people don't know that we do fresh and frozen food. Some of it's in the cooler, some of it's in the freezer, some of it is actually on a truck right now being delivered. It's being picked up and being delivered the same day. It never actually comes into this building. But this allows us to make sure we're covering all the food groups and all the food we're distributing out to our programs, and we are providing the freshest, healthiest food possible. It's not just about the cans and the boxes anymore. Anymore. I gotta say, is this cooler as cold as my wife two weeks after the honeymoon? It is a little chilly in here. Chilly. The, the freezer's worse. We'll stay out of the freezer today. Okay. Oh, I'm here with one of the Rogers TV team members for this challenge. It's Dan Polachuk. Paul's Chuck. Paul's a Chuck. Paul, Paul's Chuck. Paul's a Chuck. Anyway, this guy here, he's putting his heart and soul into it. Right now, this is the early stages of the competition. What are you doing back here in a warehouse? I'm doing some research here. Where is all this food going out to? And Giovanni, it's pretty impressive. There's a lot stacked up right here and a lot of people in need. And it's great that the food bank's doing such a great job with this. So this is not, this is the actual the collection part of the challenge, right? Exactly. And that's the action before the big action happens with the sorting. We're doing all the learning right now. What are your first impressions here when you come uh, to the food bank? I just can't believe how much food there is here, too. And that just tells me there's a lot of people in need in one of the region. That's people got to eat, right? That's people right. got to eat. This is yeah. fantastic. So what do you think your chances of Rogers TV winning this challenge? Well, we've got Chef D. Like, come on. Chef yeah, D. That's, that just says it right there. That's going to be a problem. Uh, who do you think your stiffest competition is going to be? The radio guys from Faith FM? You think those guys are pretty good? They've got God on their side, right? They've got God is everywhere, yeah. except maybe in it's Vegas. Like wingman, right? God is not in, in Vegas, apparently. <laughs> but uh, that does anyway. Yeah, but anyway, it could be anywhere you want. <laughs> Okay, the food sorting challenge has just started. It's complete chaos over here. Which team is going to win? It's unbelievable. I'm here at the Rogers TV table with this guy again. Pulse of Chuck. Pulse of Chuck. Anyway, this guy, Chef hey, Dean, hey, all this guy. Look at this guy, huh? Hey, Listen, you, buddy. How you, are you? I, good. Yeah, work hard. Eh? We, have to, we have to win this. We, we do have to win right, this. I'm going been... to change your name from Chef D to Chef D minus. Oh. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so let's get this thing rolling. Hurry okay, up. We're rolling. We're all right, rolling. don't cook. Sort, sort. I'm here with Andrew from Cool. What's uh, what's the call letters? 105.3. And that's Cool with a K, right? That's right. That's everybody knows that's super cool. What, how's it going here? How do you think? It's going great, actually. Yeah. Uh, we're having a lot of fun. I, I'm realizing how hard it is to sort this food because I, I want to be perfect and not, make sure nothing's expired. But uh, I don't know where some of it goes. So that's fantastic. That's cool with a K. That's a station <laughs> that spell check forgot. That's that's oh, yes. That's <laughs> Here's a face you recognize. Here's Care Finch from 106.7 Country. He's also on Rogers TV because she's too good looking just to be on the radio for crying out loud here. Oh, you're but you're, I know, I know. Listen, so uh, you're representing the radio station today, so I hope you don't do too good, all right? So well, I'm, I'm trying, but I keep getting checked by the other radio stations. They're pushing me around. A little physical t contact, eh? <laughs> there is. A That's bit. fantastic. A so. So tell me, what have you learned here today at the, at the food bank? It's a lot of hard work, huh? Well, it is a lot of hard work, and they don't give enough penalties to people who check other people. Two minutes. Hey, <laughs> two minutes in a penalty box for Faith FM, huh? Absolutely. You're going to kill him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, almost three quarters through the sort drive. I got to tell you, it's neck and neck. It looks like Chime is ahead. That's C-H-Y-M. Another radio station that spell check forgot. But I gotta tell you, that Rogers TV crew, they're looking, they're doing pretty, I'm not gonna lie to you, man, it's a freaking disaster. I told you, we should have got somebody good. The, 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 the diapers and lip gloss ladies, they were good. That last year. Who do we got here? Who do we got here? Hey, it's Pat Murphy from 94.3 Faith FM. Faith FM. You got to have faith. Ironically, gotta. they don't play a lot of George Michael. But anyway, you get the point. <laughs> what brings you to the food bank? Why do you participate every year in this challenge? Well, I think it's just an important thing, and the food bank does some amazing stuff. And, and uh, we counted these cookies, eh, buddy? Yeah, yeah, you bet. You yeah. counted. They go in a box, all right? They're going in the box. Can't, can't you trust bet. these faith guys. Oh, I got a question. Can the animal crackers go in the vegetarian box? Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm shocked. Look who won. He's I eating can't, his words right now. I yeah. can't believe it. I haven't been this surprised since I opened up my last hydro bill. You know what I'm talking about? I am shocked, floored, and speechless. Look who won the dig in challenge. Rogers TV, yeah. how did you do it? What was the secret? It's like a game seven Stanley Cup final, right? You just dig in. Hey, like yeah, dig in and do nice. it. Nice. How about you? Um, it was a lot of training, a lot of. You stayed out of the way. I got it. All right. <laughs> Unbelievable. Congratulations, huh? Look at these guys. Nice.
Huh? 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 What a day here. I had a complete blast. And not just because we won, but that was beautiful. I got to meet a lot of hardworking men and women who come here every day to volunteer their time to make sure people in the community have enough to eat. That's fantastic. And they like your help, too. Not just your food donations, but your donations of time. If you'd like to get involved, please call the number at the bottom of your screen. This place is, look, look at this. Huh? It's an Irish seven-course meal right here.